the stack. Standing on my money, dog. Please don't get the involved. Ain't nobody running off. Rules to the basics. I can't be no son in law. I can't take the summer off. I make it look good. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the desert southwest, Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. The winner here, of course, a trip to Las Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Not a bad prize as we are underway in the NFC championship game and he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one now Hall to start the drive and he works free. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Just need a yard here, second and one. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Jackson. And that's caught inside the 35. That one goes for 30 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. This will be caught downfield by Marshall. Touchdown! Terrace Marshall, 34 yards. And the Bucs have struck first in this NFC title game. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the playoffs on the road. I mean, that was pretty clinical right there. Yeah, they didn't treat it like it was a playoff game in January, did they? No. That felt much more like, hey, we're back in August, running a few drills in the practice field. They seem unaffected by what they're facing in this one. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Richardson going to move him around. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And the 
this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Richardson looking to throw this. And it's a right side here, complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. It's Richardson. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Chris Jones forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Play action. Now Richardson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Jameer Gibbs, 38 yards. And the Cardinals are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Drop 50, drop 50. In motion right is the running back. Richardson will throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. <laughs> so we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down, Jackson. He gets it underneath to Hall. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drills, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. That's caught down the field by Palmer. 
Oh, some strong running. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 49 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. On first and 10, it's home. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Ball again on second down. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Brees Hall, a six-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to eight. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. drive and at the line the Cardinal offense a long drive last time out for this offense Charles if you remember they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone marched it down the field and a lot of that was through the passing game the partners a former defensive back I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air secondary getting picked apart pass by pass Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Richardson now on second down. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Off play action, Richardson. Flush to his right. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 41-yard line. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. So for Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. 
A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. One yard brings up second and nine at the 40-yard line. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. J.C. Horn on the now Richardson going to shift things up. And the slot man goes in motion left. Richardson to throw off play action. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Cowboy 80. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Let's go, let's go. And he is going to have the Cardinals first down. So signals the referee as they're going to convert by about a yard there on fourth and five. Big conversion. And just good down here running there as he'll take this to the 15 yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Uh, it's been a long season, but he still looks fresh running the football. He knows his guys are one game away from the Super Bowl, so he's going to give it all he's got, and that's a heck of a run right there. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. He will push his way down to about the 14. Now second and nine. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC championship. They work now on second and nine. Richardson. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now they'll change things up. Gibbs will try and pick it up. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. 79 Broncos. Going for it on fourth, here's Richardson. He's got his target, that's complete. And the Cardinals are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Now they send a running back in motion right. Gibbs fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second at goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? They get this out left. No gain on the play. And now what we have here, a third and goal. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one.
Let's go now. Third and goal here. A big play brewing in this Number NFC 19. title game. 19 tight. 19 tight. Panther 11. Panther 11. In motion left is a running back. They'll try to run with Gibbs. And this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. And no move to take the offense on the field. They're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth and goal. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Saquon Barkley in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Jonathan Gannon making the call. They'll line up to go for two. Buffalo 18. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. Riggs, Riggs, Cup 19, Cup 19, Dragon 60. They'll look to throw. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And he's going to give his guys great starting field position as he dives to the ground to get as much as he can. play of the half here it's Jackson and he's gonna go down couldn't get a throw off with a pressure maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play time for a break we've hit halftime two quarters down two still remain we step aside this is the NFL on EA Sports Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24 yard line. Ready! Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And CD, we are in for a very intriguing second half. This is what we wanted, all tied, and this is what postseason football is all about. It certainly is. And doesn't it speak to the parody in the NFL? Roughly half the teams that made the playoffs a year before miss the next year, get replaced. We know it's an any given Sunday mentality. Nothing's easy in the playoffs. But when you have your shot, they're eager to seize it. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Eighteen, 
They go play action with Richardson. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Richardson off the play fake. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Khalil Mack providing a little deja vu back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, okay, and that leads break. to a play action sack. They've been brilliant, perfect on fourth down so far. Three for three, and they're going to try again here. Drop 50, drop 60. Hurry, hurry. They'll go for it. Here's Richardson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably at least somewhat predictably it doesn't pay off and now possession will go over inside the 15 yard line now a first and 10 at the 11 straight ahead is home and he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Ball at the 9 on second and 8. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. No, we changed it. Hey, hey. 13, 13. Sit up. They go play action with Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Chigakakro from six yards away. And the Bucs have taken the lead. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense and Charles we know that this offense is aggressive we saw that last drive they went for it on fourth down didn't get it then they give up the touchdown so now you feel like they really need to respond here they certainly do but let's face it sometimes when you take that risk you understand if you fail a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up Go. 
On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. To Barkley on the check down. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Slot man moves right. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He'll fire this deep for Gallup, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Here we go, here so here we go. we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. 18 18 Richardson going on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Paul ought to give up the middle. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Jackson. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Cards are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Cup 19, Cup 19, driving 60. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now we're in the third quarter of the NFC title game. This is second and ten. 60 Maverick, 60 Maverick. Richardson looking to throw this. He's got it complete to Gibbs. Touchdown, Cardinals! Jameer Gibbs, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. The team's locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Now Jackson on second down. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time is run out on this third quarter of play. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Tough spot here, third and 15. To throw is Jackson. And he'll find Hall. Finding space at the 40. And all the way up to the 46. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. That's complete to Palmer. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And this is good for a first down, his second grab in this NFC Championship bout. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Gather not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Jackson on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20 yard line. So they get the interception, and almost as importantly, a big return after that. And who was the guy that saved the touchdown, partner? The guy who threw the interception a lot of times. He just gives it the old old way, but give him credit. He went old school. He was determined not to make this a pick six, and he got there in time to make the tackle. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Super Bowl aspirations on the line. A critical one here. It's third down. 
in here. Pass to the right, and he's got McBride. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Here's Richardson. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Touchdown! Saquon Barkley. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Cards have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and they will take a seven-point lead. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over to 25. First and ten here. Now Jackson. And he floated one out there incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scam the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Throwing. Jackson. That'll be complete to a conqueror. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Jackson. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. You. 
Jackson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Palmer. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That's not the way you're supposed to play it. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here we go, first and goal. Jackson to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run with Hall. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And the Cards going to call another timeout. They're second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want two. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. They'll look to run with Hall. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Oh, it's an enormous call here. They'll go for two. One play to keep their postseason alive. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. An extra point forthcoming. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter.
These fans on pins and needles. A Super Bowl berth on the line, tied in the fourth quarter as the kick is away. And he returns this to the 22. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. This is first and 10. 70 Rangers, 70, 79 Broncos. Hurt, hurt. Warriors, 70. Richardson. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And that's not going to help a whole lot. Maybe four yards on first down. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. No change that dime. Well, four quarters couldn't settle things. It's going to take overtime to figure out who wins the George Hallis Trophy and punches their ticket to the Super Bowl. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense well CD certainly doesn't get any more exciting than this overtime in the postseason of course keep in mind things are different than the old way it was in the playoffs now both teams guaranteed a possession so a touchdown here if they get one the ball game will not be over and partners we both know many people have called for this change before and they finally got it after the Buffalo Kansas City Classic in the 2022 playoffs Patrick Mahomes and KC, they score first. Game over. Josh Allen and Bills never touch the football. And people hated that. Now the game reaches OT. Every playoff team has a chance to fight to extend their season. So the plan has got to be. You win the toss and you take the ball, reach the end zone and score. And put as much pressure on your opponent as possible to try and win a game in OT in the playoffs. Oh, what a time to come up with a play like that. Remember, though. With the updated playoff rules, you can't win it on this drive. But you sure can give yourself a leg up if you can finish this one off in the end zone. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Richards into the air on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, partner, recent conference championship games that have been needed to decide who goes to the Super Bowl, what do you got? Well, if we go back to 2015, how about Green Bay at Seattle? And it looks like Green Bay's got this thing. Russell Wilson to Jermaine Curse, that gets it done. And then go back to 2010. We think Brett Favre with the Vikings has the destiny, but they're in New Orleans. It's the Saints. <laughs> and they get it done in an overtime go on to the Super Bowl. They won that one. They beat the Colts, correct? Yeah, a couple of the more memorable ones for sure. You know, Charles, just thinking about it, plenty of recent conference championship games have needed OT to decide who goes to the Super Bowl. And we can go back a little ways, can't we? Go back 2012. Giants in San Francisco. That was an overtime game. The Giants ended up going on to the Super Bowl. How about the one where the Giants went to Green Bay, Lambeau, and beat the magic of that stadium <laughs> in that freezing, bitterly cold game and got it done there? Yeah, it was 2008. It was absolutely freezing, and they went on to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl that year. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. You 
this year. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get... And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now what can Jackson do here in overtime? He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Option play, here's Hall. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I bet we all suspected that they were going back there after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. So the next score wins here in the playoffs, and we will go as long as need be as they work here on second down. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a ball. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. They'll run with Hall. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 94 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Remember, all they need is a field goal here, but the offense still on the field, first and goal. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Just inside the five-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Now it's Jackson. This pass out wide to Hall. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown. They're going to win it. And let the celebration begin. In an overtime thriller, they're off to the Super Bowl. Well, the change in rules from the regular season to the playoffs at least gave both teams, Charles, an opportunity. But it turns out the team who scored first got the victory. They certainly did, partner. But it wasn't as simple as getting a quick touchdown and calling it a day because they need a standout performance from both sides of the ball to earn this win in overtime. And they got it.